Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And what we're doing is we're going to go over some basic burrs today. Basic burrs. All right, so what we have here is the saber tooth burrs. These are their coarse burr right here. Can't move it, stuck. Okay, these are the coarse burrs right here. Okay, we got a couple of those. Oh, he's, here's even a, a saber tooth spiky spear burr in course. Course, 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 of course. Okay, these are the fine. Then there's another one that's the extreme that we don't have. We don't have any extremes. Okay. So, if we compare these, you can see this has got a wider pattern spike on it. And this spike here is a little bit, it's skinnier, closer together. So you've got uh, orange, which is the extreme. Green, which is the coarse. Yellow, which is the fine. And then they have what's called white is whisper is extra fine we don't have any of them either don't got them all guys but there's a whole and you can get these in any shape just about i prefer this is called the bud this is called the taper here this is the uh spear and then this one is their straight burr i like this look how skinny that is Compared to, this is a normal number two pencil. I don't know, okay. So you can see how skinny that is compared to a normal number two pencil. Okay. Then we got our cut saws. We have our cut saw black, which is the extreme. Cut saw extreme burrs. And you can compare them to the coarse burr for uh, saber tooth. You can see these are deeper and bigger in diameter. Okay, bigger and in diameter, the points themselves. Okay, so that's the streamer. Then you go to the cut saw silver, which is their course. Now, if we look at this course burr compared to Sabertooth's course burr, Cutsaw's coarse burr is more like a uh, little balls, I would say. Kind of looks like a sponge, <coughs> but we know it's not. Here's the uh, flame burr and the coarse burr. And you can see the little tiny balls here. Can you? Can I zoom in any more than that? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. So you can see better what I'm talking about here. With the, uh, this is the coarse, these silver ones. Then the extreme. Then we'll get some of these, uh, let's get some of these saber tooths in here so you can see what they're looking like. Okay, let's move them over here. Okay, so you can see, cuts all coarse compared to saber tooth coarse. You can see the saber tooth still maintains the little spikes on it. Where cuts all has gone to a for their course, more of a little kind of ball design. It almost looks like a stone. And you can compare the extreme burr with cuts all's course burr or a Sabretooth's coarse burr compared to Cutsaw's extreme burr. And then there's their coarse flame burr. You see how this has got like little nuggets on it? Where these still maintain the points. Okay. Then we can go to, let's get this guy out of here. Cutsaw's fine. Okay, this is the fine. So you can compare the fine has smaller little 
hiccups on it. Uh, not hiccups, uh, balls. Let's see if we got the taper burr. I'm sorry, I hit the camera. Let's see if we can find the taper burr. Okay. And here's our cut saw taper burr in gold. Okay. This is turning into a mess over here. Okay. So this is saber tooth fine. This is saber tooth. Let's zoom back out here. Saber tooth coarse, saber tooth fine. Cuts all extreme, cuts all coarse, and cuts all fine. This guy here, here is a little plugged up. Uh, must have been some wet wood. Okay. So those are your basic cut saw saber tooth burrs. Then when you want to get into more to really uh, sand it down, you can go into the diamond burrs. Okay. Now this is a 60 grit diamond burr right here. Okay, let me zoom in on that for you. This is 60 grit diamond burr. Then this guy is 120 grit flame burr. You can see the difference, how much bigger the diamonds are here than they are there. And they make these, uh, you can get these in bigger sizes too. But this is the ones I've got. This is a 60, this is 120. Then this is an 80 grit ruby burr. Very hard to find these ruby burrs. 80 grit ruby burr. So you can see the difference. This is finer, that's coarser, and that's in between the two. Okay. Now the ruby burrs, the only place I've been able to find them is uh, mountainwoodcarvers.com. These guys are about 12 bucks a piece. 12 to 15, depending on what size. This is one of the bigger ones, but they do have the smaller ones. Okay, this one here is really, really fine. This is a ruby burr. The ends kind of wore off of it. I've got to replace them. But you can see, get back over there, ruby burr. You can see this ruby burr here. This one is like 220 grit. Very fine. Now, the only problem I see with these is if you're using them on wood, you will plug this up. And I haven't found a way to clean it yet. Uh, so this is pretty smooth. Even that, you know, when you get it, it's pretty smooth at 220. Um, really shine things up. You can see the tip is totally wore out. But you can see the, the ruby back here. And you, like I said, you can get these in cylinders, balls, whatever you need. Um, these are 130 or 332 second shaft. Okay, same as this guy here. I have the uh, saber tooth in both. I just ordered these ones because my uh, OZ Plus right now only has a 332 second collet in it. So once I get the eighth inch collet, and I also ordered a slip-in collet that goes down to the 330 seconds. I'll still be able to use these guys. Okay. These these guys over here are... This is a 1-8. This is a 1-8. Right now I'm using these guys in the uh, Pro Car... Or Mike Master Carver Pro. The 1-8 inch ones. Okay. So I just wanted to uh, pop in and... Uh, Go over these guys, the difference between the saber tooth and the cut saw. I do not have any of the saber tooth extreme burrs. Okay, all I have because these are being mostly used in my micro motors, and I know the mic my uh, master carb does not like the coarse, the extreme, does not like it. It will stall it out, um, and of course I can't use it in the new OZ Plus which is supposed to have higher torque than the Master Carver. 
Uh, th these mostly get used in the Dremel. But as soon as I get that eighth inch collet changed out, we will use these. We will try these in the uh, OZ and see if it puts up with them. Okay, here is the Taper Burr Extreme, excuse me, Extreme for Cutsel. And that's in the Dremel right now. So these guys are, are kind of reserved for the Dremel. If you're going to use these in a Pro Carver, Master Carver, you have to use a super duper light touch because they will jam up in there if you press hard. Okay. Now the OZ, I don't know. It's it's has a higher torque rating similar to the Dremel. So it will be interesting to see what these will do once I get the 8th inch collet. And we'll go we'll review that OZ once we get the 8th inch collet in it. Okay? So, that takes care of these burrs. Then we got the carbide burrs. Carbide aluminum cutter burrs, 8th inch shaft. I do have uh a flame burr, 330 seconds, that I've been using in the OZ and in the uh, Master Carver. Here's that little slip collet I was telling you about. This goes from 1 8 inch to 330 seconds. And I had found out from Treeline USA that you can also get these to go down to you can put these little tiny guys, 1 16th inch or 1.6 millimeter. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Let's zoom in. Come on, focus. These little guys here in the OZ or with that slip collet, you could also load them into the uh, Master Carver. I did not know that they had that, but they do. So we may order a 1 16th collet to try those out. But we really don't need it because we've got, let's zoom back out. We've got this guy here, which I absolutely love this tool. This is the SCM high speed air tool, runs on air. Okay, so you gotta have an air compressor. You also have to have a regulator to crank it down to 30 pounds of air. You use any more than 30 pounds and you'll blow up the turbine in here. So, this, believe it or not, I do quite well. I turn this all the way down to like 25 because this thing will just blow right through your wood. It, it's so fast, it just zoop right in. And so I turn the speed down a little bit so I have more control over my depth with it. This is a little football burn here, 1 16th collet. 400,000 RPMs this spins, okay? But it'd be interesting to try some of those uh, dental burrs in the OZ because that goes up to 50,000 RPMs. I mean, it's still not even close to the 400,000 that that uh, little SCM has. And if you're interested in looking up those SCM uh, carvers, Go to www.scmart.com. Here, right here. You can take a screenshot of that. The power of dreams. That's where you go to find those uh, high-speed air tools if you're interested. All right. Let's get back over here to these guys. Okay, so we were at the, uh, try to get the camera situated after I moved it, okay. All right, all right, all right. So we've got these uh, aluminum metalworking burrs. They're solid carbide, work great on hardwoods. Uh, it's like having a bunch of little planers. They do really well. And you can get them also like in different grits. See, here's one. It's got a finer uh, flute to it than this guy. And you can get them in packs of 10 on Amazon for about uh, around 20 bucks or less. 
And then we've got this style, which is a metal working burr. This is titanium coated, 132nd shaft. And this is really best for metal working. Does not work all that great on wood. It will smooth. It doesn't, it's not really good at cutting, but it does. It's like a heavy duty sandpaper with all those cross cuts in it. And then we have one here that's kind of like a single flute. Night titanium coated. So that's the basic uh, carbide tools I use. And diamond burrs. You can get packs of diamond burrs. You can go to Harbor Freight. You can go to uh, Amazon has them. I bought this pack of these uh, 330 second ones. They were like seven bucks for 10 of them. Little tiny diamond. Don't, don't expect a lot out of these. They're not gonna, they're gonna work, but they're not gonna hold up that well. The same with the, uh, these packs here. Right. Of, uh, these are all, these are all uh, flame burrs. I go through a lot of flame burrs. There's 20 of them in there. Eighth inch shaft. Let's open up the lid. You guys don't gotta look at them through the lid. Okay. These are all 120 grit. These guys here. All 120 grit. Yep. All right. So if you have any questions that I can answer, about different burrs, other than the ones we have here, uh, leave me a comment. If not, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. I basically stick with the carbide aluminum cutting burrs, the saber tooth course, and I just got these fines to try out, okay? I got a feeling they're gonna work fine. The fines are gonna be fine. And then we got our cuts all collection of coarse, extreme, and fine. These, the gold are fine, the silver are coarse, the black is extreme. And then we have a different, you know, a bunch of different varieties of these being diamonds, these being rubies. The rubies seem to last a lot longer than the diamonds you get off amazon but you know you can get twice as many of these diamonds as you can one of these ruby birds you can get a whole 10 pack of diamonds right so i hope the, the the video was good i hope the tips were good and we will catch you on the next one all right all right all right jordy johnson all right all right spike all right all right sean brooks all right. All right, Claire. Yep, we'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.